What up guys, it's your boy Chris coming at you with a fresh crack here and let's get into another unicorn. Yeah, I finally found another one here. This is the Woodford Reserve Masters Collection. This is the batch proof at, coming in at 121 proof. This bad boy is, oh my lord, look at it. I am excited as can be to get into this guy. What do you guys think out there? Let me know your opinion if you tried this one. Well, let's get into it. All right, we are going to put him through the test. First up, Le Coquere Pop. Oh, that was beautiful. Ooh, I'm excited. Now, what I mean by we are going to run this guy through the gauntlet, as you would say. We need to make sure this fits our definition of a progressive bourbon. Now, for those of you who are just joining us for the first time, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let's talk about what makes a progressive bourbon real fast here. Why that bad boy's airing out a little bit. Progressive bourbon means that on the first note, we're getting our initial tasting notes, whether it be one, two, three, however many it is. However, though, between notes one through four, we need to be discovering a new note every taste. And one note should not be overshadowing or taking over all of the other Notes. That's how we define here at Double Barrel Podcast a progressive bourbon. Let's go in for the nose, ladies and gentlemen, here. Ooh. Mm. Good vanilla. Getting some good stone fruit notes in there. Really, really digging on some stone fruits here. Mmm. All right. Very good caramel note, beautiful vanilla note. We're getting like this stone fruit spice note. Now this guy is a lot different than the Sonoma blend from the Masters Collection. This one's a little bit more vibrant. He kind of wakes up a little bit. What I mean by vibrant is that vanilla is playing very, very nice with kind of like the caramel, but that kind of like that really nice spicy and it's not really that spicy, but that spicy stone fruit note in there, I'm digging on it. Number two. Okay. Got it. Got a good one there. Okay, beautiful, beautiful dark oak in there. It's not like a charred oak. It's just a beautiful, strong earth oak in there. Love that. Kind of came in right around here. Okay. All right, got a little bit of a smoke note in there too. It's 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 there, but it's 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 kind of about right here, and he's kind of rolling back through here, and then he kind of fades away a little bit. But good, I'm loving the blend on this one. Okay. All right, I, I'm trying to put my finger on it here, and I don't know if it's a little bit of like a nutmeg note, or kind of like a, there's something else in there. And, and I want to say it might be a little bit of like a nutmeg apricot note in there, but I could be wrong there. Let's see if this guy actually gives us any tasting notes in here. It does, and this guy's actually pretty straightforward. You know what? This is, a, this is definitely a solid bottle. I'm interested to see what happens after he airs out a little bit. And get some breathing room in him, but just on an initial taste and pop there, it was that was a solid bottle. Don't know if he's quite worth the price yet, though. Getting some heat, getting that little bit of that warm in there. It's coming up, but I paid 120 for him. And at 120 for a master series collection, I'm really not gonna complain on it. And it's good. It it doesn't drink like 121 proof. 121 proof, yeah, 121 proof. It doesn't drink like one. It's drinking closer to a 105. Even like some of the 100s I have, it's drinking close to. So it's it's not a very harsh, hot, heavy bourbon. This one's almost kind of more like, I would say, a late summer, early fall bourbon, in my opinion. But anyway, 
You folks, let me know what you think out there, and stay tuned. We might get into a little bit of a Halloween preview. Always remember, never drink a drive, never make sure you don't sound call. We'll see you guys back here next time. Peace!